guys, in this video we're going to make a touring caravan cake and you can change the style and design of yours a little bit if you like. So I've started with quite a large cake drum that I've pre-iced in green fondant. So this is a 16 inch drum and then I had a square cake card that I cut in half. So there's two stuck together which is the two halves just stuck together with double sided sticky tape. And I got some black foam board and I cut three pieces of this just a little bit smaller than my rectangle and this is going to support my cake and make it look a little bit like it's raised from the cake board. So you can see all my little markings on the board where I want my cake to go and I've just cut out the green fondant so that's going to be where my black boards are going to go. Now stick your black boards to your silver cake card and then we can stick those in that hole we've just made. Just make sure it's really sturdy so you can use a hot glue gun to attach it just make sure that none of it goes onto the board or anywhere that the cake itself is going to touch. I covered the whole board in cling film so that I don't get cake stuck to my fondant that I've put on there earlier. I baked two 12 inch square cakes for this. You might find you don't need quite as much because I had quite a bit left over and what I need to do is just measure out rectangles that are the same size as this cake card and we're going to cut them out and stick them on. I've just used a bit of buttercream to stick it onto that bottom layer. You can put some sugar syrup onto your cake if you're worried about it drying out just going to put some more buttercream on and we're going to keep laying it up. Now I managed to get five layers but my top layer was just made up of the smaller off cuts as you can see on there so put together and I'm going to cover mine in white chocolate ganache so that we get a rough rectangle and then what I need to do is cut off the top corner so the caravan's going to have a curve at the front but it's easier for me to cut it once I've ganached it. It's just crumbling slightly less because I've attached it to the cake board I can't put this whole cake board in the fridge because it doesn't quite fit in my fridge but you can just see where I've cut the curve on the front so I'm going to go over the whole thing with a second coat of ganache and try and get it as smooth as possible I might just go over a little bit more before we add our fondant try and use your scraper to get as flat an edge or as straight edge as you can and just let your ganache set before we add our fondant so we're using the Rentrals Extra on this one because it's quite a firm fondant and it's quite a warm day today when I'm making this. Just make sure you pop out any air bubbles with a pin and we're going to roll it out so it's big enough to fully cover our caravan. I don't want it really thick because it's going to be really heavy on my cake if I roll it really thick. It's maybe about three millimeters thickness. Just roll that over your little caravan. Just give it a gentle rub all the way around with your hands or with a cake smoother. And then just carefully try and pull it around the corners. Carefully you don't tear it when you're putting it around these corners. It's getting little creases and pleats. Just sort of pull them out. And then you can use some cake smoothers. Just to give you a slightly straighter edge. Now it doesn't need a super sharp edge, doesn't this one? But I'll just try and tidy it up a little bit. And underneath I'm just cutting to the bottom edge. So where my silver cake card is. So I've done that all the way around. I'll just put that caravan now to one side and then we can make the details to go on it, starting with our wheels. So I've got a little circle cutter and I'm actually using modeling paste for the wheels so that they're nice and firm. It wants two each side and then I've cut out two extra that we're cutting in half. I don't know if you can see that there, just going off out of shot. We're sticking a semicircle on the back of each of our tires. And this bit just kind of slots under the caravan and the single layer bit will sit on the edge. Now I'm going to cut out some windows and it's good if you've got a picture that you can use as guideline because then you can see what size, shape windows you've got, how many. So I've got a rectangular one, another one that's much longer and thinner. This is going to be the window that's going to go on my caravan door. I'm just going to round the edges off a little bit. Excuse my hair in the shot. And I'm just going to go around the edges just with my little Dresden tool. And then let's do some grey. So we've got some grey. It's modelling paste, just a bit of white and black mixed together. I'm going to cut out some little rectangles. I've just rounded the corners slightly. I'm going to put some little lines on for some of the detailing that's going to sit on the side of my caravan. And I'm just going to work out what size and shape to do for some of the other parts on the side of my caravan. And we've double layered them up. Now, when you layer these up, we're going to cut out the rectangles. It's white on the back, grey on the front, but don't stick water in between them, otherwise you won't get them apart. And we can cut around these edges like this. If the edge bit hasn't stuck, you can just slip a little bit of water under there with a paintbrush. And let's just quickly cut out some more windows that we can stick on the far side of our caravan. Just exactly the same as we did before. Cut out some rectangles, a few different shapes and sizes. Just going to do the same for each one drawn around that edge. So I've got a slightly smaller circle cutter now that we're going to push into the middle of our tyres. 
That one's gone slightly off center. And I'm just using my paintbrush handle to push a little indentation into the middle. I'll do this on all of them. Now the end of my knife is quite a nice triangle shape if I hold it on its side. So can you see if we push this in all the way around the edge, it leaves us with our alloy wheels on our caravan. Go back to our actual caravan where our wheels and windows are set in. And I don't know if you can really tell the colour on here, but I've got a really thin piece of pale grey modelling paste. So I've rolled it super thin and I've put a little bit of water on the side of the caravan, but not much because I don't want it to stick everywhere. Just moving a little bit of this cling film out of the way now. Now the cake's on there, I shouldn't be getting as many crumbs and stuff on there. So I'm just trying to work out whereabouts my wheels are going to go. So they're a little bit closer to the back than to the front. And then we're going to draw some patterning onto this grey. So this bit here near where I'm drawing hasn't got water underneath so that I can cut the panels out easily and remove them. You can see I couldn't decide where to draw so it's got a few different lines on. Let's just cut this out. I'm using a little craft knife for this rather than the bigger knife that I use just makes it a little bit easier. Just be really careful when you're peeling out those panels. I'm just going to mark on where I want my door to go. I've maybe done it a little bit close to my wheels and we're just going to stick those windows on. Just got a little bit of water on the back of them just to hold them in place or you can use edible glue if you prefer. And you'll see the wheels are held in place now as I put a little bit of water on the back of those. We've just got a little sausage shape of grey modelling paste that's just going to curve across the top of the door. Our little grey pieces we made earlier I'm just going to stick again next to our door and I've got a clay extruder with a little bit of pale grey in. It's very very pale grey this. We're just going to push out enough of this so it goes all the way around the side of the caravan and we will do the same on the other side in a little bit. It's just stuck on with water again and then we've got a rectangular strip for down the bottom. So stick that on the very bottom edge, just trim it off at the front near where it goes to the wheels. We'll do the same on the back or the back half of the side. Just try and get it as straight as you can. And we're going to need a little arch for over our wheels. So we've tried to start with a bit of a rectangle. I've just been a bit heavy handed with this so it's not very straight looking now. And I've cut out two wheel arches from it. Let's draw a little line on there. Just use a piping nozzle for the two little dots. And then we're going to put those other panels on that we made earlier. A little ball here where the door would open. A couple of little cylinder our mini sausage shapes up here. A little square on the top. Just a tiny little cylinder with a little disc on the top. And then more of our piping that goes around the outside of the caravan, but this time it's going to go around the door. If you can, get it a little bit thinner than what we used around the edge of the caravan. Now for the front, I've rolled one big piece of modelling paste. I've rolled it quite thin, and at the moment it's just resting onto the front of my caravan. And I'm going to mark on exactly where I want my windows to go. And once I know where they're going to go, I'm just going to press a little bit deeper with my Dresden tool. So I've got three main windows at the front and then a little bit that sort of runs up the top of the caravan. And we are going to cut some of this off. So before I cut it off, I'm just going to slip a little bit of water under the front, which I apologise I didn't show you. And then we're cutting some off either side, off the top and off the bottom. And we're going to have a strip of white just underneath that window. So just try and straighten it up with the edge of our ruler, just a little bit. It's not perfectly straight. We'll have a strip of grey along the bottom of the front. A grey panel for the front. And let's stick a little wheel on at the front, down near the bottom. So we've got a little ball of black, just squished flat, with a little silver ball, or grey ball in the middle, I should say. I've just put some cocktail sticks in the top, so this is the bit that can't really be eaten. And a little bit of grey wrapped around those, kind of hiding the cocktail sticks. This is going to support the front of our caravan, or trailer. Almost like a grey triangle that's pushed onto the front of the caravan, resting it on top of those cocktail sticks. Put a little block of grey on the front. Put another strip of grey just on there. My wheel is squashing a little bit. I should have really done that wheel and let it dry. A little ball of grey on the front again for the tow bar. And then let's put some little handles and wires and things on here. So it's got a little bit more detail. Got a little square of white on there. I'm just going to use some silver now to paint on my little wheel trims. I might have to give it a couple of coats, a couple of blocks of black so it looks like a little step at the front. Let's just paint a little bit of reflection sort of onto the window. So we've just got white food colour in here. We're just going to paint just a little bit on. Kind of the same corner on each window and then a little bit along the bottom. Let's put a couple of stripes across the top. Not too obvious, just so it looks like the light reflecting. 
And of course you can write the name of the caravan on the front if you like. My handwriting is not very neat so I'm going to leave it off this one. And we're just going to do the back. So the back I've actually put a piece of white on rather than grey. I'm going to cut it to the same size as the back. And then you can see we've cut a little curve at the bottom edge. Remove a little rectangle where the number plate is. And let's just measure out the bit that wants to come out the back. So I'm going to go wider at the top, narrower at the bottom. And I've tried to get a bit of a curve across the top. Let's make it a little bit wider there. Another line that's coming down kind of towards the number plate a little bit. Let's remove this section here. Carefully you don't cut too deep because we don't want to remove the fondant that's on the cake. Just this top layer that wants removing. And then another little strip of it from under there. So you'll see it came away quite easily because I didn't add water between the top layer of white and the layer underneath. So the top layer of white is modeling paste, don't forget. So it's a little bit easier for us to use when we're pulling it off. Put a little dot there. So we've cut out also a little shape where our little handles are going to go. We're going to just put a small piece of grey in each of those shapes. Tiny ball of grey in the middle of there. And a little piece up there. And it's up to you how much detailing you want to put on. This would be where the caravan logo would go. Oop, move it down a bit. Put another little square on the top. A little black piece just under this curve. And it's going to need some lights at the back. So two ovals of red, one on each side at the back, tiny, tiny bit of black at the bottom of each of those, and we're just going to put a little strip of white in there, just to give it a little bit more detailing. And of course we need to do all the details on the other side, just making sure we've got that trim that matches on the other side of the caravan as well. And last but not least, just going to put some little legs on our caravan so it looks like it's stopped and parked up, and I've done them at the front and the back. I've painted a little bit of detailing on the sides, you see just a grey strip. And the trees, we've just got some green fondant. Just use a little cutter to cut these out, keep them straight in the bottom and then we can just stand these up on the cake board. You see I've put a couple of bigger trees on there. Now they are actually polystyrene so we can't eat those but you could do them with Rice Krispie Treats in the middle if you wanted. I think I might even add a picnic blanket and a little family. There it is, all finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.